This is the sixth generation iPad mini. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over how you can use this tablet for productivity. We already know it as great for entertainment, for reading books, comics, even watching movies. But we're gonna focus on how you can use this tablet to actually get things done. But first, I gotta give you guys my disclaimer. This iPad is borrowed. It was not given to me and I did not pay for it. So everything I'm saying in this video is based on my experience from using this iPad for the last couple of days. So right now I am recording with the iPad mini using the front facing camera and I am recording with my USB microphone. This is the Elgato Wave 3 USB microphone and it works great with the iPad mini. Just one cable to connect this microphone to the iPad mini. And now uh, just as a test to let you guys know that I am actually using this microphone, you can hear that I am tapping on the microphone right now and you can hear that I can increase the volume and I can decrease the volume right within the microphone. Right now, a lot of gadgets, they use USB-C, keyboards, mice, microphone, headphones, and, uh, hard drives. Oh yeah, I got a USB-C hard drive somewhere. Um, but yeah, we're gonna test that out too. One of the great things about USB-C is that when you have a monitor that has USB-C input, you can connect your device to that monitor. And with one cable, you can charge your device and you can have video output at the same time. Let's go ahead and test that out with the iPad mini. As you can see right here, the iPad is connected to my monitor with one USB-C cable and it is charging at the same time. You can also connect the iPad to an HDMI monitor, but that is a separate cable that requires a HDMI to USB-C cable, or you can get a dock that has HDMI output. When the iPad is connected to a monitor, you can see that it mirrors everything that you do. Some apps, you can use the monitor as a second screen. Video editing apps like iMovie, Adobe Rush, you can use the monitor as a second screen. So it shows you your edited video while your iPad shows you the timeline. Not a lot of apps take advantage of the second screen like these video editing apps do, and I wish they did. Even with multitasking, it would be great if I could put one app on the monitor and one app on the iPad, but you can't do that, at least not right now. Maybe it's because the iPad mini only has four gigabytes of RAM, but either way, I wish they had more applications that took advantage of the second screen. One of the big improvements is multitasking, and it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is tap over here with the three dots, and then you can see an option to have split screen or have a pop-up window. It's a little bit different than Windows or on Mac, but it's pretty easy. This is great if you're watching a video, you can have it on one side and you can have a chat on another side. The good thing about multitasking on the iPad is that it's pretty fast and the apps don't look too small, so the apps are actually usable. That's my problem with using multitasking on a phone. The apps, they become so small, they're almost unusable, but on the iPad, it's definitely usable. Now let's go ahead and talk about file management. I have my USB-C dock right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the iPad, and then I'm gonna connect my SD card to it. So as a YouTuber, I'm always transferring videos and photos from my camera to my laptop. It's a little bit of an annoying process, but the iPad makes it a little bit easier. When I connect the SD card to the iPad mini, I can open up the photos app and right away, I can start importing my videos and my photos. Or I can open up the files app and you can see right here, it loads up pretty fast. Now this isn't the fastest SD card out there, but it loads up pretty quickly. As a creator, you want your video files off your camera right away to put it on your laptop or your other device, start editing and start uploading. This is a very simple way, and I'm actually pretty impressed by this. All right, so that covers some of the basics of what you can do with the brand new iPad mini. I didn't cover the Apple Pencil or the Bluetooth keyboard. Those are sold separately and they're pretty expensive, and I don't really think you need them to get the most out of your iPad. The Apple Pencil could come in handy if you're an artist or if you'd like to sketch, but if you're just gonna use it to take notes, then you don't really need it. But that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments below and be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I will have my links in the description below.